Hello, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? It is me, Z Don B. That is at Z Don B on all platforms. Y'all know what time it is. Thank you so much for joining us on Backstage Jams yet again on WXSJ 97.3 Radio. Uh, we got some new blood in the house. We got a DJ coming through this time. We know we have artists I hit you with different times, but again, Backstage Jams, we want everybody in the industry to know who's to look out for, who's the hottest, who's working out here, who's hustling. And we got DJ Aphrodisiax in the house. Hey, what up, what up? Did I say that right? Aphrodisiax? Yes. Thanks. Yeah. I practice. <laughs> I practice. I was like, I think it's like the word aphrodisiax, but is the I A X? Does that make a different sound? I went to fashion school. I didn't no, go to college. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bert. What's going on? Welcome. Hey, Welcome to you. our Thank humble abode here. here, man. Nah, it's a pleasure to be out here, man. It was like a family reunion of sorts. I know. Um, it's been a minute. It's been a very long minute. A long time. <laughs> um, like, uh, not going to do a whole long catch up with you guys, but. Um, we go back to when I first moved here about three or four years ago. Um, I was doing a lot of fashion events, um, uh, just volunteering here and there. And this is basically the uh, Tyson Beckford of Orlando, I guess we could say. Oh, like, oh in every single show, like I guess like one of the, <laughs> the top models in the, in the city. And so I just would see you everywhere all the time. And so right, we always right. had a good rapport, but um, I am always doing a million things. So we never got a chance to like have like the like what's going on kind of thing. And now that I have. The home, the house. Absolutely. Um, and you're doing way, like, even bigger things now. It's moving way faster than I am. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as, like, having time, I was like, I got to nail down time for us to sit and get caught up. Yeah, and I'm really excited to get you in here and see what you got going on now. And, yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you. No, like I said, it's, it's just an honor to be up here, man. It's, like, it's been a minute, though, but that's awesome. nah, awesome. definitely dope. That's like riding yeah, a bike. Yeah, like, exactly. You, 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 must be <laughs> you know how this works. You know how to do it. Yeah. Um, so that was a quick little catch up, but let me not do all the talking. Like, give them a, a, like an intro to like who is DJ Aphrodisiacs? Like, um, how did we get here? Like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, who so, are you? So pretty <laughs> much, you know, just a local DJ on the Central Florida. Uh, been DJing for about I want to say 15 years or so, but wow. get into the nightlife scene. I want to say three years, almost almost three years right now. So, but pretty much just started. Um, at my house and everything and just DJing and having some of my you know friends come up and then um, my friend brought one of his buddies out and I didn't know much about him but um, apparently he's like pretty big in the uh, entertainment industry mm -hmm. uh, PM entertainment so he heard me you know do some mixes and stuff and then one thing led to another he got me into the, the nightlife scene and just been DJing since and it's just really just been grinding out, just grinding, you know, doing a lot of shows and stuff, um, whether it's just open format or doing like in the, the break beat scenes. Um, it's just just getting me out there and everything. And I enjoy nice. it. I enjoy it. It does come with challenge. You know, everybody say, hey, you know, DJ is an easy job. I was like, no, it's not easy by all means, because you got to control the crowd, make sure they're entertained and jumping around. And if you don't, well, you'll hear it from the crowd, yeah. you know, and you <laughs> will get booed and they will talk trash to you afterwards. So, um, but no, nah, but I mean, at the same time, it is a lot of fun. But yeah, there, there's definitely um, some work you got to put into, by all means. Oh, listen, <laughs> easy. The anxiety that I feel yeah. when I'm in a room with my friends and I have to like, oh, play something. Here, just put, put, put something on. I'm just like, uh, what do yeah. I play? Because I know, like, I listen to all kinds of weird random stuff. My playlist is, it can go from Britney Spears to Tupac to uh, Kirk Franklin back to like something from the 70s. Right. Like, it's like very random. It's just kind of like, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. It makes sense in my head, but right. most people are just like, weren't we just listening to Nate Dogg? Like, is this Jessica Simpson? Like, what is this? Like, if it's a good song, yeah. I'm working it in. <laughs> and so when I'm like in a group of people, I'm always just like, oh, what am I going to play? So it is not an easy job because mm -hmm. everybody's waiting for their song and their moment. And like, I'm the person that's on the dance floor. If the song is whack, it's like, let me go to the bathroom real quick. Or, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Give me a drink. yeah, run like, out there and don't come back. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. If somebody's got to do it. But at the same time, it's a lot of fun. And you're doing it well. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I would say also say that, you know, when DJing, you know, and everything like that, I mean, DJ, you want to have fun and mm -hmm. stuff, you know, doing on your set, you know, when the crowd looks at you, it's one thing I, I constantly hear from other people. It's like, you know, they tell me, oh, you bring out so much energy, just you DJ and stuff, you know. And yeah, sometimes I might get carried away and just start jumping around, usually pouring sweat because mm -hmm. I'm just dancing and sometimes I forget that I'm DJing. 
Um, and then I think the most important thing is to not have all the sweat on the decks and everything. Otherwise, <laughs> going short circuit, and then you know the promoters, the club owners, and everybody like that, they're gonna be pissed at me. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I make sure I have a towel at all times, just in case. <laughs> Those are the best DJs, though. Like, I want to see DJs getting into it. It's um, it's like a performance for you, you know? Yeah, well, like, yeah, I think I think so. I think the the, the one um, person that told me about, like, you know, aphrodisiac, you're humping on the decks, you know, as I was dancing mm -hmm. and stuff. I was like, well, I, I, I didn't know anything about it until I saw the video of it. I was like, wow. It's like, you know, it's really like I'm humping on the deck, you know? <laughs> Yeah. But I, I mean, just getting into it, yeah. you know, and that, that's what it's, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, you let that Absolutely. music take control of you and you enjoying it. And then you look at the crowd, they're enjoying it. You start having, having that connection, that bond. Mm -hmm. It's just an unreal moment. Absolutely. It's yeah. the energy transfer. Absolutely. You know, yeah. if like it, DJs, when people say DJs easy, easy, it's easy in the sense of anybody can sit here and press play on like a mm -hmm. predetermined playlist. Right. And it's just playing no matter what. And um, it just goes how it goes, and that kind of sets the tone. But like when you're in it, then now you can bring us into it, and then you know how to change the song because you can see what the vibe of the audience is. Right. And you can kind of go there, even if it's a pre-done thing. You know, like oh, I'm gonna hit him with this. It'll, you know what I'm saying? So I think I I love DJs that are like into it, that are really into it, and just like yeah. just 100 percent committed. Because now we all are like are going together. Exactly. It's yeah. like yeah, you're going like a DJ wants to tell a story, mm -hmm. so you do that by. You know, playing you know playing the tracks and you know mixing everything, scratching and all that. But you're telling a story to your crowd, and as mm -hmm. long as the crowd's understanding it, they're gonna have a great time. Yeah, yeah, and you're gonna have a great time on top. DJs have curated <laughs> some of the best moments of my life. Yeah, have not been great in some of the best moments. Like big right. things. Like it's I remember, I can always remember when like the DJ said just fire. When it's a perfect song going to the next thing, the next thing like. The best DJs to the point where like I don't want to leave the dance floor. Like, I have to get drug off to go. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Do something. <laughs> if I'm thinking about like my taxes or like what I had dinner last night, you know, it's like this ain't hitting. This ain't it. It's not there. Nah, definitely. You got to be present for it. So yes, sir. I love that. What kind of inspired your love for like DJ? Were you like a big party person or do well, you have family members that that? In the industry any kind of way or so i mean i mean not my parents and everything i mean as far as my family goes we just always have a great time i mean shout out to your parents by the way for being like beautiful yeah. like uh, <laughs> i don't know why i just really thought of because you post your parents a lot and I, i'm right. always checking and it's just like oh my god they look amazing first of all yeah but it's just like the the, the dna is just unfair oh, it's unfair that's unfair. unfair it's and it's all about because we all we all grow up like you know just having that youthful life and that's mm -hmm. how it's always been still to this day you know and pretty much it's where you know where we're all at you know yeah. my mom my mom she still likes to go out and dance around i sometimes i gotta like look at her a little bit you know take her out to one of the nightclubs mm -hmm. um or happy hour i see her dancing and some dude i'm just like really keep, looking keep track on it yeah keep track <laughs> like no nah, no nah. yo hands stay up sir way up mm -hmm. just making sure that <laughs> her eyes are up here sir yeah. you hear me? <laughs> That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, my dad. He he should be coming back. Um, he, right now he's in Indonesia. And oh wow. Yeah, he he out. He actually just travels all over. And he's at his vacation, I guess you can say, is well, twenty four seven pretty much. <laughs> but four four months. Yeah, four months out of the year, he's here in the U.S. or Orlando somewhere, or I mean, it's another state. And then the remainder of the months, he's overseas. Wow. Yeah. So hashtag goals. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, I love that. So yeah, so basically just kind of all over, like it's like your inspiration for like getting into like DJing. It's just like, I, I jumped off with your parents, but mm -hmm. um, where did that kind of come from? Just like you've always loved it or? Well, I didn't get into DJ. I mean, I love, I love music, like mm -hmm. no matter what, uh, whether it's alternative, um, punk rock, um, dance music. I mean, even got into country a little bit. Mm -hmm. you know? I love country. Yeah, Shout yeah. Texas. <laughs> um, you know, I just love music, but really didn't get into DJing at all until actually uh, one of my best friend's brother um, brought over some, uh, bought some turntables, uh, Technics uh, 1200s, and I was in high school at the time, and I just looked. I went to you know the house one day, and I was like, "Oh, you guys got turntables? This <laughs> looks cool." <laughs> So then it just came about, okay, this looks awesome. So I was like, okay, let me try it. Let me try to DJ off of these and, and stuff and learn. I was like, oh, I'm going to scratch and everything. And come and find out, no, it's not easy at all. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're, we're talking about, you know, with the records, you know, buying yeah. records at the time and then beat matching. It's 
definitely not easy. It takes quite a long time to even, you know, master it, you know, of course. So, but by then I'm, I bought my own and that's when I started practicing and yeah, it was a lot of frustrating times, mm -hmm. decent times, a lot of frustration on top. Yeah. And then later on, you know, get invited to do some, you know, a couple house parties. So really I just been doing a lot of house parties mm -hmm. um, and yeah, enjoy the crowd, obviously. Um, gets a little chaotic <laughs> when it comes to house party scenes, especially when you're in your, you know, 20s and then going into your early 30s and stuff like that. You're still doing house parties. And, so a lot of great times, and actually I will be doing, going back to doing the house party scene again. And nice. Yeah, in a couple months, so that will be funny. <laughs> yeah. you should, I mean, you can make it, a, make it a tour. Make it this, you know, this. Yeah. I only do house parties. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, 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 I love the. I really love dope. the house parties because it's like everything can happen no mm -hmm. matter what and there's always stories afterwards stories i can't obviously say on air um, oh, there's a couple because my next yeah. question was your craziest dj story <laughs> so that's uh, a perfect segue let me see let me we're all adults see. here oh let me see <laughs> except for the children listening i mean <laughs> oh gosh so i did okay so i will say hey i'm sure she's gonna watch it and her husband too so we had a we do a like a Halloween party. Okay. Oh, well, hopefully, hopefully, mom's not even you know watching it or listening by any means. Your mom's. Um, um, be, well, I will say because her mom. So this is what happens when we when we do Halloween parties. Um, it will be at her mom's house. Mm -hmm. Now the kicker is that her mom flies out. You know, around that week we court we you know coordinate and everything. Mm -hmm. Make sure mom does not know. And then by then, then we go ahead and rearrange the house. So mm. she still, till this day, does not know that we threw multiple parties at her house. Still till this day. Love so we're, that. Yeah, we're taking pictures and all this and all that. Um, so we set up and everything, invited a whole bunch of people over. Um, it's great times. Um, I wasn't supposed to go up to DJ until later on. Uh, but we have um, my one of my best friend's husband goes out and DJ and you know he's dressed up as Batman and stuff and he's already tore up <laughs> already tore up and then we're talking about he's just yelling on the microphone uh, the roof the roof is on fire you know just like that and just everybody just jumping up and down and stuff all of a sudden the man passes out <laughs> Just kind of short, you know, kind of collapsed. Batman, you know, Batman's down and stuff. Cape Crusaders. So spoiler yeah. alert, I was yeah. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Batman was me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he's he, down. Yeah, so he's down. So we end up, you know, taking him out and stuff, and you know, you know, carry him to the bed. And then I was like, Jerry, you got to go DJ, you know, yeah, you know, before I became aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, all right, cool. And then I'm waiting for him to get back, you know, get back in, and then he's gone, like blacked out so then i'm djing sleep yeah so then i'm djing from 11 o'clock at night till five in the morning Yeesh. yeah so and then yeah on top of that you know maybe a couple clothes come off um you, it happens. You hear, yeah it happens you, you hear some incidents you know that goes on <laughs> you know goes on in the back um <laughs> that i definitely can't say string sounds <laughs> <laughs> Inaudible in sounds. Yeah, we, we hear, you know, we, uh, you know, heard stories and stuff. And I was like, yeah, cool. It wasn't me, though. I was just DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I just can DJ, brother. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I was just doing my job. And then I get tore up and everything. And then later on, I pass out. Um, so those, like, those, I mean, it's like some of those stories pop up um, that I can recollect. Um, there's, I'm trying to see what, uh, I'm not sure other, like, Crazy, crazy stories happen like while I'm DJing mm -hmm. like, outside of it, yeah. But um, while I'm DJing, I can't say too, too crazy. I think it's been pretty mellow. I was, um, I feel like I, I was yeah. a bartender for many, many years, and I feel like that's like kind of close to DJing where it's like a bird's eye view of like the shenanigans of everything going on, yeah. Like, um, like because when you're partying and you're in it, it's one thing, but when you get to sit up and observe everything, it's like. This is crazy. It really so people, I have some crazy bartending stories, um, but not as many people hope. Like, right. people ask me that question, and it's like, what's the craziest thing somebody's ever asked you? It's just like, I mean, people ask me crazy stuff, but the real craziness is observing all the other stuff going on from, like, you know, 
in the back just watching all these things pop off it's, it's the best it is, it is. <laughs> it, it's so much worse though when you're like so tore up and all this like for instance my birthday just, um this past november i threw a mm -hmm. party over at the porch um you know, shout out to my um the resident over there tone shout capone out. um over at the porch on thursday nights um but i was able to throw a party over there and it was just like last minute a whole bunch of people came out i already start drinking like three or four drinks before, in 30 minutes before <laughs> I was supposed to go up. And then uh, Tone, um, you know, asked me, he said, hey, are you okay to DJ? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I think I am, yeah. <laughs> so I get ready to go up, and as I'm getting ready to DJ, I'm just like, yo, the room is just spinning hard. And I'm just like, oh, man, I'm not sure about this. But I was The tracks like, are spinning, you're spinning. I was like, man, the show's got to go on, though, the show's. So I just sucked it up, and I was just, Everything was successful. I uh, had a great time and was pretty much hurting the next several days. Very bad. Good birthday. Yeah. Big good time birthday, great, great I birthday. Say. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. Um, we're talking about craziest stories. Like any crazy requests. Like anytime you're like, I know, like you're like you're in the vibe and you're DJing and it's been about stuff. Can you play this? And it's like I don't want to play that shit. Like any any like. Oh gosh, there's so many. I feel like this happens, has so to happen all the time. So many. I mean, like a song you've never heard of, and you're just like, "Wait, what do you want me to play?" So there. Okay, so obviously, I, I started. I mean, I've been liking um, this genre, of Bollywood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I've been liking that, and I've been wanting to add that on there, but uh, for the wrong crowd, obviously. Uh, yeah. So um, a lady approached up approached me and asked me if I had this song. And I just looked at it. And, you know, she showed me the phone, you know, YouTube and everything of the artist and the song. And I was like, I told her, no, I do not have that. <laughs> and I was like, this is a hip hop night. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I definitely do not have this, but it, but she reminded me that, okay, I need to add Bollywood for like an, more for like a, you know, open, open in crowd, mm -hmm. you know, more diverse crowd. But for a hip hop night, no, <laughs> not um, no, you you are not going to change the dynamic. And then somebody else requested a country, uh, country music for a hip hop night, and I was like, you guys got to read me. the room, please. Yeah, <laughs> read the room. <laughs> so you you get those kind, of, you get those kind of crazy requests. I mean, for the wrong crowd, obviously. Um, yeah, I would just have to say no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as much as I can sit here and make jokes, I am the person like uh, if it's don't let it be like a bar where it's like a small thing. I'll be the person that gets wasted and walk up there and be like, "Can you play Into the Road by Boys to Men?" Like, and everybody's listening to like trap music. You're coming my feelings all of a sudden. I'm drunk. Like, I am very that guy. That's why I asked him like, "You guys stupid stuff?" Because if I told you how many times I've been in a DJ's ear getting on their fucking nerves, so I go, "Can you play Mariah Carey?" Vision of Love. <laughs> like, like, we are listening to Jeezy. Like, what is he talking about? Because I'm drunk and I want to feel some vibes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have no shame. I'm the, I am yeah. the requester. Yeah. If my friends want somebody to go up, I'll go to the DJ. I'm always that person that's like, I hate to bother you. You're doing a great job. You're right. I had a few songs I could put. <laughs> if you don't mind, just sprinkle them in throughout the night. Thanks so much. But yeah, I just have to ask that because yeah. I feel like I get a lot of yeah. bad karma, I'm sure, from that. Now, now the <laughs> only way, I, the only way, you know, I mean, if the DJ would, and we would have to very, we have to be very creative. Would be if they was gonna tip us very well. Mm -hmm. And I believe in tipping. I'm a, yeah, I'm a DJ tipper. Yeah, I believe in. I was like, I will play this. Um, I will play something, some kind of a sample out of a track that I found. Um, say something about you know this song. Re this song. This song is a request. Mm -hmm. This is not my style. It'll be some kind of sample, some kind of crazy sample like that. Play the track. As long as I get paid, you know, tip. Very well, not mm -hmm. no two five dollars. It's got to be in the double digits <laughs> at least. Yeah, yeah. Start off with a twenty, and let's yeah. work our way up. Depending on what yeah. song you want. <laughs> so I, I will do that, and then I will cut it off really fast in like one minute, and cut it off very fast. You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Like money talks. <laughs> yes. Sir. So start spend that spend that cash. You yeah. Want you want you want country music on a hip hop night? I will do it. But yeah, double digits definitely have to be a start. Just frame your cash up tag and just have it sitting up in the booth. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just eliminate all questions from the game. Right. Oh, before you ask anything, go ahead and hit that my QR code right there, uh, please. I love that. Now, I, I will also say another one, one that happened, and this was uh, DJing in Jacksonville. Uh, with, uh, Duval. Yes, sir. Yeah, with my um, uh, awesome, awesome friend and great DJ, uh, Jay Taylor. Um, we had 
these guys from Tennessee, cowboys and everything, mm -hmm. coming up, coming up to us, say asking us as cowboys. I'm thinking, oh gosh, they're gonna want us to play country music. Mm -hmm. It's like <laughs> y'all got some juicy J, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> well, we want some here. We want here some three six mafia, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so, and he tells me the song, and I'm like. I was like, I looked at my computer. I was like, I don't have this track. <laughs> it was and, some deep cut. <laughs> yeah, and, and and Jay Taylor, I asked Jay Taylor, and I said, Hey, you have this? And he's like, No, I don't. He's like, We want some three six mafia, man. You got there or what? He slips a hundred dollar bill right there in front of us, <laughs> and I'm like, We'll find oh, it. We gotta find this now. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as we found it, everything loaded on, you know, loaded onto the decks and start playing. And oh man, it it was stomping on the beat. Oh. It had the cow cowboy hat, you know, just twirling around. They was enjoying themselves. I'm from Texas, so I can um, I can uh, <laughs> confirm that there's a weird underlaying of like trap, rap, hip hop with like country uh, people. Right. Um, I used to go to this bar called the Ranch. And they had a hip hop night, and it was a country bar full and full all week long. And they had one random day that it was different. On Tuesdays it was hip hop night, mm -hmm. and you would have like. Every gangster, whoever gangster, was in there <laughs> with, their, <laughs> with their red on, uh, and it would take over the night. But like, it was just it blew my mind to see like people with cowboy hats with bandanas hanging out of their pockets, dancing out there the same music. Like it was just like that was it was known for its hip hop night. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like oh we're playing hip hop tonight. Whoever gets it gets it. Like it was a big deal. And so I was like, oh, this is a very strange crossover. So yeah, I don't know why. Right. And I feel, plus three six mafia. I feel like you know. <laughs> The mainstream America loves them. Yeah. I'm saying that in a very nice way. Uh, <laughs> shout out to them. But no, dude. Um, before we get chatting, get all going, what do we have coming up? Like anything unique we can look out for you for? I know I saw you um, doing the eSporta stuff for a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, that was going on for a little bit. Um, I have, um, well, obviously I have the wet spot every Friday night. Resident mm -hmm. over there. Um, and then I'm starting something up. At um, Oasis on the River in Sanford on Mondays. Nice, nice. Yeah, so we're starting that up. Um, now that I can check out, I live up in Austin, so that's my okay. neck of the woods. Yeah, so I and can get it's up gonna there. be a day, daytime pool party. We're gonna, you know, cater to the service industry. Okay. Yeah. So that that's the idea. Or anybody else, you know, if they want to skip work, you know, not go to school, college kids, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, could, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring the whole the whole the guys. We're skipping we're skipping work yeah, that day. Coming yeah, up. yeah, that'll be awesome. I mean, we, I mean, it's gonna be outdoors. Got a pool and everything. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's a beautiful scene. I mean, like I'm just fortunate to be a part of it. So yeah, we're hey, starting. Congratulations. Out, yeah, thank you. So we're starting out on Monday. And, you know, we'll see if we can make a big hit. We'll see if you know enough people will, will actually skip or call in sick to come out. <laughs> yeah, so that, I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And I then, love it. Yeah, and then, then, I mean, other than that, I mean, don't have too many. I mean, we just have, like, sporadic events, you yeah. know, throughout. But um, nothing like a big, big um, EDM event yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still waiting on that one. I'm still waiting, I think, for some time of summer, summertime, trying to figure that out. Yeah, yeah. nice. But, that's what, that's what I want to lead into also, like, yeah. um, long-term, like, big, big goals. Is yeah. it, you know, one residency at a time till we get to Vegas? Is mm -hmm. it going on tour with an artist? Is it, like, what would, what would be, like, this, because it's going to happen. As soon as you say it, it will happen. So be careful. Right. Dream, like, somebody's, like, tomorrow, dream DJ gig. It would be... What do you think? Have you even thought that far on the line? You just I, have, I really haven't, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I would have to say, like, one of the big, big EDM festivals, uh, what you like, you have EDC, EDC or you something. Have Ultra, um, I mean, it's just, I mean, there's actually more bigger EDM events, mm -hmm. you know, popping out, popping out of the woodwork. So, you know, those kind of events, I mean, you have thousands of crowds. Oh, yeah. That you, now you're catering to, and that's just, that'd be a thrill. Yeah. You know, like thousands and thousands of people. You're just looking up and like, wow. And then you have fire shooting out or fireworks and everything is shooting out behind you mm -hmm. or in front of you, you know, wherever they have the big stage at. So, yeah. But yeah, that awesome. that, that would that would be what I would say my dream. Well, coming soon. Yeah. Coming uh, soon. Y'all stay tuned. You I heard it here first. It. Yeah. We're going to run this clip back when it's happening. And oh, be like, man. I, mean, <laughs> I told you. Sorry. I told you guys. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. Congrats on everything you're doing. Thank you. Um, very exciting. Just even all the link stuff like that. Esport, I think, was really cool. Esport, um, formerly known as, formerly known as LA Fitness? Yeah. Or did it, yeah. LA 
taking over? Are they still partners? Like the sister. The yeah, yeah, because Ellie's still a thing. There's mm-hmm. still some of this Ellie fitness. Yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah. but um, just catching you guys up, obviously you guys weren't there, but uh, you were doing live sets there yeah. at the gym, mm-hmm. which is unique. I've never seen that before. I thought it was yeah, really cool. Yeah, and I, you know, ran it by the man, uh, manager. I was like, you know, we can just I mean, make something happen. Now, my only concern was, you know, the loud music, because you have you know, your older, um, older crowd, obviously, mm-hmm. and it's like, you kind of want to cater to everybody but at the same time you want music to the point where you know if they're going to get a great workout yeah yeah well i think it's, yeah. it's perfect for you because a you work out there and right. be your, your fitness guru of sorts yeah so people are i think it's like if people will take it better coming from you when they're djing mm-hmm. than just some like joe Schmo who shows up like hey i'm supposed to dj at four o'clock yeah. you know what i mean it's like what, what, this? like there was this is off topic but they i was in a macy's one time in atlanta they had a dj in the men's section at Macy's, and I've never been so irritated in my life. I'm, wow. I'm stressed out trying to find my look for this event I'm going yeah. to. I don't want to hear two chain. Boom, boom. I mean, when I tell you, it was turned up like we were in the club. Yeah. Like you could hear it from like all throughout the whole mall. And I was like, what is that? And I got into it. It was so loud just getting into Macy's. And they get to the men's section, and I was like, excuse me, can you help me find a size 12? Like I'm yelling at the guy for the right. thing, and everybody's looking around like, what what is this? And it was just like a fun thing, something like that. I'm mm. sure <laughs> on paper it was a cool idea. Right. It didn't translate in Macy's in the shoe section. It was just like I can't think. I can't hear myself think. The speaker is right here. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I mean, yeah. you gotta place the speakers. I mean, your equipment accordingly. I mean, or not turn it up so loud. Yeah. Uh, obviously, because you don't want to scare everybody off. It's exactly. gonna be uncomfortable for them to shop or even you know a DJ even inside a sport. Or it's going to be uncomfortable for them to lift because, you know, they're lifting and then the, the, the speakers are just right there blasting at your ear. Yeah. So it's like. But it, it creates yeah. the atmosphere, though. It's fun. It's, yeah. I think it's a good vibe. So I thought it was pretty cool. So I remember when we should have that out. Yeah. So any other gyms are listening. We do gyms. You, you name yeah, it. Yeah, we yeah. Spin. whatever, whatever. Yes, we uh, spin. We're actually going to spin here in a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, we got. Sir. Um, so, We'll, we'll surprise you guys with some more content, but you're just going to do a little set here for us. Mm-hmm. So we get the live experience here. Absolutely. Um, you guys will be seeing that coming soon. And then hopefully some other things that have in the works that I'm just kind of going to spring on you today. Right. And emotionally manipulate you into saying yes to because yeah, okay. you're going to love it, I promise. <laughs> awesome. But, um, yeah, super excited for everything you're doing. And, nah, I appreciate yeah. it. So where can everybody find you before we get out of here? Where can we find you? Your socials? Uh, yeah. The wet Spot. Okay. Shout all that out. Yeah. Um, I'm there at Wet Spots every Friday night. Uh, I go on. Uh, uh, 10 o'clock um oasis um oasis on the river in sanford I, i'm sorry um west spot in sanford is also but um also oasis on the river in sanford uh mondays i will be over there um and then just sporadic on the um the weekends as far as friday and i mean not friday but saturday and sunday and then maybe some you know somewhere else during the um the weekdays but you can find me on um social media on facebook at aphrodisiac and then on uh, Instagram at DJ Aphrodisiac as well. That's so, it. Yeah. Y'all heard it here first. Thank you so much once again for tuning in to WSSJ 97.3 Radio. Like I said, we have more to come with DJ Aphrodisiacs as well as big things coming from Independent Dream Factory. Shout out to them. Also, shout out to Studio Max, our home, um, and AC Blaze for everything he's contributed to us. Big sponsorships. I'm really excited for everything coming up. Um, and yeah, y'all know what time it is. It's me, The Don B. That's at The Don B on all platforms. Tune in every Wednesday for Backstage Jams for more music industry professionals in the house, um, more Backstage Jam stories, and more music. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.